What are you doing? I'm gonna take the tractor out, go dig up a few plants, scoop up a few plants for you. Woo-wee! About to break in this tractor? Yeah, well, it's got grass and crud all over it because you was running around out there in the middle of that pond. <laughs> well, I'm about to put you to work. It's I need some more. Right now, but I need some more plants for my property, and I don't want to pay for them because I'm cheap like you guys. Hey, what can I say? He's gonna dig these up for me so I don't have to do it by hand. So let's get to work.
Yeah, well, this plant here is a firecracker plant, and uh, that's what we call it. I, I'm sure it's part of the names. Uh, they'll have little uh, pink flowers all over them. When they, they do, they'll be real bright pink, uh, orange all over. But what we're going to do is I dug up a big clump of them. We're going to cut all this top layer stuff off and just keep the root system. Look at all those roots, guys. Keep that root system. Just chop them all off here and let them grow all new. That way all this old stuff. You're going to cut it about what? 10 inches off or? Well, I'm going to cut it to about right there. Okay. And chop all that off. See, and there's some over here that's already off to the side. Like, I wonder if we... Yeah, you can just pull that like, out. Like, pull these little ones out Yeah. and do the same thing. These be easy to plant. Chop your leg off. No. Did the goats eat those or no? Yeah. Not only are you uh, helping me out, you're also feeding your goats at the same time. They'll eventually eat them. I mean, they, there we go, I'll do that. Let me roll it. Now you see the potential how they grow. All right. Yep, feed my goats now. Oh yeah, that'd be a nice little snack right there for them. So that's exactly what I wanted to do. Pick up some stuff right before I left. You guys know I like having a lot of plants on my property and we've always had these bushes here since I was a little kid and those plants have, how old do you think those plants are? Well, the original plant was planted here in 74. So we're gonna dig up some more clumps of these and uh, you can, you can just take one root from one of these and plant and it'll grow. But he's gonna, he's gonna plant clumps so that it'll bush out real fast. You know, Melanie's kinda tired of the way this looks up here and also, I wanna eventually take everything out of here and uh, re put some border on there. I'm gonna put some rocks and some mulch and stuff like that in there. She wants it very simple so it doesn't take any any work at all so. you want to go show them the little clippings that we took yeah uh these are the the petunias here the mexican petunias he's going to take those just dug those up those right there if you know they'll bush out and then he can get propagation from those this is the uh queen palm that i have out there in the back by the pool these were growing i guess the squirrels or something must have put them over in the waterfall area. I had no clue that those were palm trees till you said it. I thought it was just yeah. blades of grass. So they'll grow. And then these over here are the olive trees. Those are the ones that, like I said, you've seen um, three of them over there. Yeah, and then back I, there. I got another three on the north side over there of the fence that's gonna grow. So it'll be like just one big olive garden over there. <laughs> olive garden. Olive garden, this guy. And then, uh, this over here we have in a bucket of water. I told him just keep, he took these trimmings off of the salt cedars. And when he gets home, he's gonna strip off all the leaves, maybe cut them off so far, or maybe just leave just a little bit on the top, you know, and strip everything else off, stick it in the ground. Then you'll know whether these are growing or not at that point, but they will root out in that bucket of water. There's Think, also something else in that bucket. What is right. the other? That is the, uh, Let's see if I can get them on there. Those are like some kind of vines or something. Well, it's a cutting from the the uh, hummingbird bush in the back. We're gonna see if that'll root out. If not, I gave him a bunch of seeds that he can plant in solo cups and let them grow. They grow quick. So what are the odds out of 100%, how confident that you, are you that I can grow all these? 70, 75%. People, he says 70. Maybe.
what do you think? What's your your percentage? I'm gonna say about 30 percent that I'm gonna be able to do it. <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo. You never know. It's it's hit or miss. So yeah. well, they're hardy plants. So if you kill them, you and a very good gardener. I'm trying to dig that thing up, and it was like so. While us men were outside working, the women over here, Jason and Mom. We were making a video, making money. We were, we oh, are working. Mom says she makes more than you do. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all heard that. We're going to put up our our monthly payments next to each other, and we're going to see who makes more money. <laughs> Jason, you want in on this? Nope. <laughs> That's what I thought. All right, so... This is going to be the end of my video. Thanks, Dad, for bringing out your new toy and helping me get all those plants. Whoa. Thanks, Mom, for helping me collect some of these plants. Oh, man, I sure hope they grow. We uh, did a bet earlier, or we kind of said, said... They all die. I say 70% don't make it. I said 30%. What do you guys I think? 70% you won't even plant them. Yeah, I think, they, I think they'll stay in my truck. I... Thank, Thank you for picking up my plants. I think it's time for us to get back to Dallas because I'm tired of this shit talking. That's how you trick Jared into getting you some new plants. You have him go around and say, hey, you can put them in your yard, and then he leaves them in the truck. All right, well, I'm going to wrap this video up. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, go down and smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Unsubscribe to my family's channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.